In this video, I will show you another example of RMS value. Determine the RMS value of the following triangular current waveform. See, this is our given current waveform and each of the portion of this waveform will indicate a triangle or this kind of waveform is also known as sawtooth waveform. And we have to calculate the RMS value of this sawtooth or triangular current wave. To calculate the RMS value of the current, we use this formula root over area of the e squared waveform over the full cycle divided by the period of the e squared waveform. See, to find out these two quantities, I will follow these five steps. At first, I will determine the period of the given waveform. If you look at the triangular current waveform, you will see the waveform between 0 to t interval will be repeating in the upcoming cycles. Therefore, I will say the period of this waveform is equal to t. And within this 0 to t time interval, our current is changing linearly and it will have a maximum amplitude of a. So the period of the triangular waveform is equal to t. After that, I will express the waveform into its equational form over full cycle. If we look at the current waveform, you will see from 0 to t, our waveform will be changing linearly. Therefore, we can express the change in current within a full cycle using the equation of a straight line. That means we can express the change from 0 to t interval of the current using the standard straight line equation y equal to mx plus c. Here the current is going through the origin. As a result, the y intersect will be equal to 0. Now see, in the x-axis we are taking time t. So x variable will represent time. And in the y-axis we are taking current i. Now we have to calculate the slope of the equation and the slope will be equal to, see this is our origin. So it will have coordinate of 0, 0. This point has its x coordinate t and y coordinate a. So this point will have a coordinate of t a. Now how do we calculate the slope of a straight line? Slope is expressed with m change in y axis y2 minus y1 over change in x axis x2 minus x1 or rise over run here this t will express x2 this will be y2 this will be x1 and this will be y1 so if i use y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 formula i will get a minus 0 over t minus 0 equal to a over t. Therefore, the slope of this straight line m will be equal to a over capital T. Therefore, this straight line will have equation of i equal to a over capital T get multiplied with t. So we can express this triangular waveform with this time varying equation i equal to a over capital T into small t. So we get the equation of current i is equal to a over capital T get multiplied with small t. After that we will take the square of the waveform by taking the square of that equation. See this i equal to a over capital T into t represents this triangular waveform. If I want to take the square of this triangular waveform, how do we get that? If I take the square of the alternating quantity i square t square, I will get the square of this triangular waveform. Therefore, I will get a square over 
capital T square into small t square. So the equation of the squared waveform of the triangular waveform will be equal to I square equal to A square over capital T square into small t square. Okay. After that, I will calculate the area under the waveform area under the E squared waveform over full cycle. See, RMS value is equal to area of the squared waveform over full cycle. Therefore, we will calculate the area under the squared waveform over full cycle by integrating the squared equation over full cycle. See here, our squared equation is I square. If I take the integration of I over a full cycle here, over a full cycle, I will get the interval 0 to T. I will get the area under the squared waveform over full cycle. Therefore, this integration of 0 to t i square dt will indicate the area of the squared waveform or squared current over full cycle. After that, we will use this formula RMS value of current i RMS will be equal to from the fourth point we will calculate the area under the squared waveform so we will put this integration value here and we will put the value of period from point or step number one here and we will take the root over it we will get the i rms now let me calculate the area under the squared waveform over full cycle and that is equal to integration of 0 to t full cycle interval 0 to t i square dt here i square is given by a square over capital t square into small t square dt so here i'll get a square t square integration of 0 to t t square dt from which i can write a square over capital t square t cube over 3 0 to t from here i can write a square over t square into t cube over 3 minus 0 from which i can write down a square capital T over 3. So area under the squared waveform over full cycle will be equal to a square capital T over 3 divided by the period of the squared waveform. Period of the squared waveform will be capital T. So if I take the root over, I will get I RMS. This T will get cancelled with this T. So from here I will get root over a square over 3 or a over root 3 therefore the RMS value of the given sawtooth waveform or triangular waveform will be equal to a over root 3 okay that's it thank you